The law of obligations is one branch of private law under the civil law legal system and so-called mixed legal systems. It is the body of rules that organizes and regulates the rights and duties arising between individuals. The specific rights and duties are referred to as obligations, and this area of law deals with their creation, effects and extinction. An obligation is a legal bond by which one or more parties are bound to act or refrain from acting. An obligation thus imposes on the obliger a duty to perform, and simultaneously creates a corresponding right to demand performance by the obligee to whom performance is to be tendered. Topic. Definition Justinian first defines an obligation obligatio in his Institutions, Book 3, Section 13 as a legal bond, with which we are bound by necessity of performing some act according to the laws of our state." He further separates the law of obligations into contracts, delicts, quasi-contracts, and quasi-delicts. Nowadays, obligation, as applied under civilian law, means a legal tie by which one or more parties are bound to perform or refrain from performing specified conduct prestation. Thus an obligation encompasses both sides of the equation, both the obliger's duty to render prestation and the obligee's right to receive prestation. It differs from the common law concept of obligation which only encompasses the duty aspect. Every obligation has four essential requisites otherwise known as the elements of obligation. They are The obliger, obligant duty bound to fulfill the obligation, he who has a duty, the obligee, obligant entitled to demand the fulfillment of the obligation, he who has a right. The subject matter, the prestation, the performance to be tendered. A legal bond, the vinculum juris, the cause that binds or connects the obligants to the prestation. Topic. Classification Topic. Sources Obligations arising out of the will of the parties are called voluntary, and those imposed by operation of law are called involuntary. Sometimes these are called conventional and obediential. The events giving rise to obligations may be further distinguished into specified categories. Voluntary Unilateral promise policitatio, undertaking by promiser only to perform, not requiring the agreement of the beneficiary. Contract Quasi-contract Negotiarum gestio – duty to repay someone gesture, who has managed the affairs or property of another who was unable Solutio indebiti – undue payment or delivery of a thing to another, who is then obligated to return the thing Involuntary Delicts and quasi-delicts equivalent to the common law tort Unjust enrichment Conditio indebiti Topic. Contracts A contract can be broadly defined as an agreement that is enforceable at law. Gaius classified contracts into four categories which are, contracts consensu, verbal contracts, contracts re, and contracts literis. But this classification cannot cover all the contracts, such as pacts and innominate contracts, thus, it is no longer used. <laughs> Quasi-contracts Quasi-contract is one of the four categories of obligation in Justinian's classification. The main cases are negotiarum gestio conducting of another person's affairs without their authorization, unjust enrichment, and solutio indebiti. <laughs> Quasi-delicts The designation comprised a group of actions of no obvious similarity, classified by Justinian as analogous to delictual obligations. It includes res suspense, things po ewered or thrown, shippers, innkeepers, stablekeepers, and erring judges. Topic. Subject matter Obligations are classified according to the nature of the performance prestation. Real obligations, undertakings to give or deliver property, possession, or enjoyment specific real obligation, delivery of a determinate thing when it is particularly designated or physically separated from all others of the same class. Generic real obligation, delivery of a generic thing. 
personal obligations, undertakings either to do or not do all kinds of work or service Positive personal obligation, performance Negative personal obligation, forbearance History The word originally derives from the Latin obligar, which comes from the root lig, which suggests being bound, as one is to God for instance in religio. This term first appears in Plotus play Truculentus at line 214. Obligations did not originally form part of Roman law, which mostly concerned issues of succession, property, and family relationships. It developed as a solution to a gap in the system, when one party committed a wrong against another party. These situations were originally governed by a basic customary law of revenge. This undesirable situation eventually developed into a system of liability where people were at first encouraged and then essentially forced to accept monetary compensation from the wrongdoer or their family instead of seeking vengeance. This signaled an important shift in the law away from vengeance and towards compensation. The state supported this effort by standardizing amounts for certain wrongs. Thus the earliest form of obligation law derives out of what we would today call delict, however, it is important to note that liability in this form did not yet include the idea that the debtor owed monetary compensation to the creditor, it was merely a means of avoiding punishment. If the debtor or his family didn't have the means to pay then the old rules still applied as outlined in the Twelve Tables specifically Table 3. This section, despite how harsh it may appear to us, was originally developed as a means to protect debtors from the excessive abuses of creditors. See also Right Solidary obligations Swiss Code of Obligations References, <references>